Welcome today. We are going to unbox this absolutely lovely piece of gear from Everlast. This is a TIG welder, specifically 185 amp dual voltage. So this will allow me to do a lot of things in the garage while also using 110 voltage. I do have access to 220, but it's a little easier to not have to deal with that currently. This is, yeah, like I said, a dual voltage and it's gonna allow me to really take advantage of making cool stuff for vehicles and things that I want. For example, this is a overflow from a NASCAR cup car that I found on eBay. And something as simple as this with just some aluminum tubing and some end caps that we make. Uh, I could make a surge tank or different things similar to this. And what's holding me back is not having a welder. So we're gonna go with getting a fairly budget TIG welder and see what it can do for me. So we'll start here. Oop. Oop, it's a heavy boy. And I'm gonna pull this kit out, which looks somewhat damaged. I hope everything's okay. This thing looks like it barely made it from China. Just, just barely. And so we'll go through this in a second, but what I have done is I have ordered the Nova upgrade, which is a nicer foot pedal and a nicer torch. So we're gonna go through that in a second. Let me just get this thing out of the package so we can see it and make sure that it's not damaged because my cousin got one of these and it actually had damaged ends and I don't uh, actually, I'm not surprised with how this packaging is. It's not like the packaging is awful. I just don't think that it's meant to come across the world and uh, have any sort of reasonable uh, package deal. So this is the guy right there. I'm just making sure that it isn't smashed and damaged. It looks fairly good so far, just right there. So this one has basic functions. It is analog. It still gives you a digital readout, but all the knobs are analog, which for me didn't seem to be a huge issue. Um, I'm just doing basic stuff. I don't need to go crazy. And if I do go crazy, it will be down the road. Um, but yeah, we'll just set this guy off to the side for a second and we'll dig through some of the other equipment. And let's take a look. So this should be the Nova Upgrade TIG pedal. Looks like it's already been opened up. I don't know what that's all about, but it is the Nova and it comes with just a few consumables. As you can see, looks like a number five, a six, and a seven cup um, and some collets in the end there. So that looks fairly normal. Uh, if you do stick welding, which I will never touch, it can basically just be turned into scrap wire. Um, the ground cable, thankfully the ground cables that they give you are pretty long. The other Everlast welder that I've purchased was a MIG and it was only a, a 140 amp uh, little gas shielded MIG and the the grounding strap was tiny. So I'm actually glad that they have that. And it looks like there's a pedal right here. Let's pop this guy open and make sure that it is indeed the Nova because I paid for the Nova upgrade and I want that Nova pedal. And look at that, it indeed says Nova on it. This looks like the seven pin higher end one. This is nice. Yeah, that's definitely good. So I definitely got what I paid for. 
This is the adapter for 110. So you just plug that into the wall and then your 240 volt goes into there and it only uses one of the phases or one of the sides and gives you 110. So here's our little gas guy. Looks pretty standard. Just goes over to the tank. And I'm assuming this guy is the regulator. Yep. Which is cool because I actually already have a regulator from my previous Everlast. But when we get crazy enough and we want to go to have two dedicated tanks, uh, maybe one for pure argon and the other one for mix, we have the regulator right here. And I mean, it looks okay. Um, yeah, I don't see anything, see any, see any reason why it wouldn't work. This uh, gas guy right here, just wanna make sure. Yeah, I mean, it should work. There's a little bit of a nick right here, but eh, it'll be all right. We'll survive. I, uh, I mean, look at this thing. It looks like it was mauled by a bear, but I mean, it's here. We're gonna obviously test it and make sure everything's good, but um, here's your Nova torch. So basically I'm just gonna cut this off and take this off because I have the, uh, uh, I have the pedal, but yeah. I'll get you guys some nice B-roll of a bunch of this stuff and you can take a look at it in a little more detail, but that's basically it for now. Uh, you can plan on seeing some content where we actually get this thing to be used. Um, this is a long time joint effort between my brother and I. It's just taken us a long time to get to the point where we can afford and justify this kind of gear. So really looking forward to trying it out. And uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you soon and uh, hopefully get this thing in, in some good use.